Healthcare stakeholders are increasingly scrutinizing musculoskeletal care to optimize quality, cost efficiency, and value. This has led to greater emphasis on quality and process improvement in the delivery of orthopedic care. Many of these ideas that foster quality and process improvement originated in the business world, but increasingly are being applied to healthcare delivery. This review identifies the principles that underlie the quality improvement movement and summarizes the common quality and process improvement tools, including how and when they might be employed to improve care delivery. In many healthcare systems, there is a changing paradigm of what it means to provide excellent healthcare. Part of these changes include an increased emphasis on what is called the episode of care, the full cycle of patient care from start to finish, including both the patient's outcome and the associated cost. This change emphasizes an evolution away from viewing surgery as an isolated technical event and towards a well-coordinated, integrated, team-based approach to surgical care where patient outcomes are measured and quality and value are a central focus. This approach demands that all providers involved in patient care work together towards common goals. In this episode of Care Model, orthopedic surgeons are ideally situated to lead quality improvement initiatives on behalf of their patients. Therefore, it will be in the best interest of all orthopedic surgeons to have a familiarity with the tools and strategies that are available to help them and their teams improve the overall care they deliver. This current concept review identifies a series of principles that are emphasized by the various quality and process improvement tools. These principles include reducing the rate of errors and adverse events, eliminating waste associated with the process, improving the flow and resulting efficiency of a multi-step process, minimizing the variance within the process, improving communication among members of the healthcare team, and improving systematization of the process, essentially increasing the likelihood that two patients with a similar condition will have similar experiences. And finally, enhancing the patient's experience of care. The quality and process improvement tools that are outlined in this current concept review include checklist initiatives, clinical practice guidelines, appropriate use criteria, care pathways, standardized clinical assessment and management plans, plan, do, check, act cycles, statistical quality control, lean thinking, Six Sigma, lean Six Sigma, total quality management, patient and family centered care methodology, root cause analysis, and failure mode effect analysis. The quality and process improvement tools that are outlined in this review can be categorized. Some are designed to work over the entire episode of care, whereas others are designed to improve a specific event within the larger episode of care. Some are static, whereas others are iterative in that they function to continually improve care delivery. Finally, some tools serve to standardize and improve an existing process whereas other tools can facilitate a complete redesign of the care delivery process. Quality and process improvement tools are akin to choosing the most appropriate surgical instrument for a particular step in a surgical procedure. Different tools may be required when looking to improve different parts of the patient's episode of care. It is our hope that this current concept review will help familiarize those involved in providing orthopedic care with some of the basic tools and strategies that they can use to improve the quality and value of the care they provide.